So here we go. Manchester United, we face Brighton on Sunday. Eric Ten Hag's first game in charge in the Premier League. And we're going to have to do it without a recognised striker. Anthony Martial is injured. Who will play in his absence? What I'm going to do in this video is run through my predicted 11 for Eric Ten Hag's first Premier League game as manager. It's been a promising pre-season tour in spite of what's going on behind the scenes at the club. And I'm going to run through my predicted 11 and explain every single position. So make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I'd love to have you as part of the community for this season, which is coming up. It's going to be an exciting one. I hope so. And it will certainly be a better one than last year. It can't be any worse than last year, my word. If you had asked me at the start of the week, Sam, what's your predicted 11 going to be for the game? I probably would have said this. I was thinking about this before we started. Obviously, it'd be a bit weird if it didn't. But I would have gone for that. Now, of course, Martial is missing. And it does change what Eric Ten Hag can do. And I think what Eric Ten Hag will do in this game. So let's run through my team from each position. And I'll explain all of them. Before I do, I want to say a big shout out to Super 6. So the Premier League is back this weekend. And I want to say a big shout out to Super 6 for supporting United People's TV. And if you haven't played Super 6 before, where have you been? All you've got to do is predict six Premier League scores and you could be in with a chance of winning a million quid. I've created a league this year with Super 6. So what you've got to do is follow the link in the description. Go over there, predict the six games, the six biggest games in the Premier League this weekend and you could be in with a chance of winning a million quid. And even if you don't predict, predict six scores, if you beat my scores, you might be able to win a United shirt. Let me run through my predictions for this weekend here. I think Spurs, they're probably going to pump. I reckon like 3-0 against Southampton. There's no chance that Leeds or Wolves are keeping a clean sheet. I'm going to go 2 all. Uh, Newcastle down there. I think they'll probably have enough against Forest. I think that might be a bit of a high scoring one as well. Everton. I imagine they're going to be basically relegated this season. But Chelsea. That's solid. I'm going to go for a one all draw in that one. United. Nah, would love to back us to absolutely steamroll through Brighton. I don't think we will. But I am going to back us to win. I think it might be a tetchy 1-0 win. I'm, well. I think you're easily going to win. They always do. Golden goal. This is what you choose down there. In case there's a tie break, I'm going to say the first goal is going to be in a dick minute. There you go. Boom. Submit my entry. That's it. Done. That's all you've got to do. So follow the link in the description. Go over there. Send in your predictions for the six games this weekend. And you could be in with a chance of winning a million quid. What's not to like about it? As I say, link's in the description. And even if you can just beat my score, you might win a United shirt. And maybe you win a, maybe you win a million quid. Happy days. So make sure you get involved in that, honestly. Might win a million quid. What's not to like about it? But let's run through this team and let's speak position by position because I think there's, well, there's questions everywhere. In terms of that back five, I think this is the back five that's going to start against Brighton. If, look, Eric Ten Hag would prefer to do this. this is, and this is, I imagine, is what we're going to be playing from the second game onwards. But I don't think that Martinez is going to be completely fit to start this game. You're looking at uh, how Martinez and Eriksen have played. Uh, Martinez was involved against Rayo Vallecano. Eriksen was involved in both games. If either, if any of them are going to start in this game, I imagine it's going to be Eriksen ahead of the two. But Victor Lindelof, clearly he's become... Uh, look, Rafael Varane, man, going to have to prove himself. I know he's got a great CV. But we haven't seen enough of that at Manchester United, certainly when it comes to injuries. But the, the one question I think we've got about this really is whether Tyrell Malassi is going to start. And for me, he has to start. He simply has to start. Luke Shaw's been sort of missing. I think he had a couple of injuries, a couple of niggles. But Tyrell Malassi has shown so much promise down this left flank. And the reason I really want him to start is because of how he tucks inside as that inverted fullback. Because it means that when Fred goes, say for example, Fred McTominay and Bruno were playing these positions and they move further up. Madisea drops into this role here and basically becomes a bit of a, a double pivot alongside Fred and allows Manchester United to press with real intensity up here with more bodies, but also have the protection of having two players there. And also Madisea has got the pace. You could say, Sam, that's going to be exposed down there, but that's what he's naturally good at defensively. He can cover that space in behind and far better than Luke Shaw can. So in my opinion, Tyrell Madisea has to start this game. I really want to see him start. And it's not just a case of being excited by a new face. Been really impressed by how he's played in the preseason. And he naturally plays that Ten Hag system a little bit better than Luke Shaw. Shaw, I think, has to work his way. I mean, it could be either of them. My personal choice would be Tyrell Malassia. And of course, Diogo Delo is going to be starting, uh, starting right back. 
Maguire and Lindelof, is it our best centre-back partnership? No, it's not. Martinez needs to get in there ASAP Rocky, and he should be in there from the second game, I think, after another week of pre-season. Uh, sorry, not pre-season training, but training. I think he should be fit to start. Now, there's more questions to ask in midfield because this guy is missing. But Anthony Martial is missing from this game, right? But what happens? In my opinion, I think this is what I would like to see happen. I think we should probably be seeing Bruno go up into that role there. We should be seeing Ericsson come into that role there. And I think we should be playing that. With Fred and McTominay. I mean, technically it will go down as a 4-2-3-1 on paper. More like that. But we know full well, having watched Manchester United now in the preseason. Kind of not really how it works. Ericsson will probably play slightly more advanced in the Bruno role. McTominay will play slightly further in front of Fred. And Fred will be the person who drops deeper into that into covering this sort of area. He's done it well in pre-season. He's not the, the answer to our problems there. We need Frankie de Jong. But for the time being, I think Fred will play there. And I think McTominay will come in too. He does add a bit of steel. He's, McTominay is a limited footballer, but he does have a purpose inside this squad. It shouldn't be starting for Manchester United every week. And we shouldn't be starting this Premier League game with McTominay and Fred in midfield. We haven't made the signings we need to. But because we haven't, this is what we're dealing with. Now, I think we should be playing Bruno in a false nine. I've seen, I've seen quite a few people talking, uh, this is a potential alternative. Bruno keeping his position there, and I've seen Elanga being used there. And that just doesn't sit well with me. Elanga's not been good enough in preseason on the wing, let alone going through as an option through the middle. Now, an alternative for that could well be to see Marcus Rashford going through the middle, with Anthony Elanga coming on the left-hand side, or, of course, people have been talking about Alejandro Garnacho, who was really exciting in that first game that he played against Real Vallecano, no doubt. But given that that was the first time he played in the preseason, I'd be surprised. I'd be very surprised to see him start this game. So in my opinion, I think what I want to see is not Rashford or Sancho getting taken out of positions. I want to see them there. And I also don't want to see Ronaldo start. And again, that's not a pure stubbornness because I'm disagreeing with how Ronaldo has been acting so far. He's not fit. He will not be fit to start this game. He looked well off it in the 45 minutes against Real Vallecano. And he will need a couple more weeks. He's basically not had a preseason. Ronaldo is going to be 2-3. I don't think he will even be fit for the Liverpool game. 2-3, to three, maybe probably 2-3 to three weeks, I reckon, before he's sharp and ready to play if he's going to stay at the club anyway. But I wouldn't put Ronaldo in there. I would do, as I say, I would put Bruno in as a false nine. Now, he did play as a false nine a couple of times last season. And it didn't particularly work. Because you kind of ran around like a headless chicken. But I think under Eric Ten Hag, Bruno looks a bit rejuvenated. Bruno looks like he's got a bit more discipline and also has more clarity on what he should be doing. The press was working very well in the preseason tour, man. It really, really was. That lad there, wrong photo. But those three playing together, I was really, really impressed by how they played. I'll be honest, it absolutely sucks that Manchester United don't have them for this game. And now we're going to have to switch it up. We're going, to have to pull, we're going to have to pull Bruno slightly further up the pitch. But I think he'll be okay with that. I think he'll suit it okay. Just my opinion. And I think Christian Eriksen should be starting this game. I think he will be fit to start this game. And in looking at this from a positional perspective, he can operate inside that Bruno Fernandes role. And I think those two would link up very, very well together with Eriksen finding the balls in behind for Bruno or for Rashford or for Sancho. He clearly has the quality to still play at the highest of levels. And I think he's shown that he's got the desire to do it too. So for me, I would put Christian Eriksen in and I would move Bruno slightly further up as our alternative because Martial is injured. I wouldn't start Ronaldo. I wouldn't start Ilanga. I don't think Ahmad's capable physically of coping with the Premier League. That's just my opinion. And I think Pellistri, well, he's been okay, but that's on the right wing and I don't want to go anywhere near our go-to guy. I hope Sancho's completely and utterly fit for this game. We need him. He was a danger in the preseason tour. But that would be my starting 11 for the game against Brighton. The back five there of David De Gea with Delo and Malasia on the wings as the fullbacks. I think Malasia has got to start ahead of Luke Shaw. I just think the way he played in that preseason tour, he even smiling on his face the whole time as well. It's kind of infectious. He operates better and also operates better inside that inverted fullback position. Luke Shaw is going to have to learn that, I think, anyway. Midfield three of Fred McTominay and Ericsson with a front three of Sancho, Rashford and Bruno operating as a false nine with Ericsson just behind him. 
and McTominay and Fred doing what McTominay and Fred can do in midfield. It's not good enough for Manchester United this season. We still need a midfielder. We need another striker. We need Ronaldo to get fit again if he's going to stay. But I would put that down as my predicted team. And I think that's probably the best team we could put out in the circumstances. You can let me know what you think. I really want to see Martinez fit for the next week. I want to see De Jong coming in. Of course I do. And I want to see Sesko and Ziyech. That's what I want to see between now and the end of the window. Let's see what we do see. But what's your prediction? I'm predicting United to win 1-0. Might be wrong there. Let's find out. But I was really impressed by how United played in the preseason. I hope that wasn't misplaced. And it's such a shame, a shame, as I said, that that was looking like it was going to be electric at the start of the season. We're going to have to deal without it. And in my opinion, the way to deal with that best is Bruno in the false nine role. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, but I don't think it should be Elanga. I don't think it should be Ronaldo. And I don't think Garnacho will start. You can let me know what you think, as you always do in the comments. Don't I'll see you after the game on Sunday.